<laughs> we're not in the basement. I know we heard a lot of speeches, uh, and we're gonna hear another one. Uh, and I'll yell at you if you talk during it, so just relax. Uh, also, I just wanna shout out to Brown for insulting me. <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, I'll just step down and say, yeah, you're, 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 you are, you're the better man. You're a great guy. That was a great speech. Uh, no reason to fight right now. Uh, okay. Anyway, first off, I think no one acknowledged Katie. You look absolutely stunning today. You look beautiful. Matter. Your head looks even smaller in a tuxedo. <laughs> You look like the guy from the end of Beetlejuice. <laughs> it's a dated reference, but it worked. I got a better face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, by the way, for a call out that you made me stand outside at a 90 degree lakeside wedding in a tuxedo, and you didn't even shave for your own wedding. <laughs> Covered in sweat. <laughs> but no, honestly, congratulations, Saturn. Uh, you're oh, deserve a congratulations. You're the first Jew to ever get the cheerleader. <laughs> Name, my, we were, it was my senior year of high school, and my mom gave me a piece of paper with your number, and she was like, this is a nice boy from right now. <laughs> and he, uh, he, uh, he, he, maybe you could call him and be your roommate. And I was like, I'm not going to call him because this kid is probably a tool, and I was right. <laughs> Then I met, I met Andrew like the first, I met you like the first day of college pretty much. That night. And, and yeah, the first night, and you told me the same exact story about how you didn't call me because you thought I was a tool. And you are. And you were, you were way wrong. Uh, and then we bonded instantly over our assumption about the other one's coolness. And uh, we became roommates the whole rest of college. Uh, we lived in a nice, small room, beds practically touching. <laughs> Same bed. Same bed. Same bed. Well, we had, we had two beds, but the other one was just for shout. Yeah. Uh, you know? Uh, uh, well, that's scary. Uh, we lived in a room, we had an apartment with Bag. That jerk, Brown, you saw that guy. And some other guys who weren't invited to the wedding. And, uh, Weddings are expensive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you know, and Andrew, we lived in the room, we lived in this tiny shared room for three years of college, and like I think like you were like a great roommate. I like I could always like turn to you whenever we needed to talk or anything, you know, that's the kind of roommate you were. You're also the kind of roommate who would talk me into buying like a huge freezer chest for extra meats. <laughs> So that when we had overflow meat from the regular freezer, we could fit it into there. We got good usage out of that. We did. We got it was a good. It was a good thing. We had a lot of ice cream. Uh, and then you also were the kind of roommate who would set your alarm for like 5 a.m. in the morning to wake up and have a protein shake. <laughs> and I would wake up from that. Uh, uh, and also, you were the. This is what also something else you did in college raised my roommate is you were the kind of roommate who would run full speed into the door. <laughs> Breaking it off for the like rest of college, right. our room had no door on it. So when we had to go into the room, we had to literally like take off the door <laughs> and put it on the side. And when I asked you why you did that, you said you were trying to run through the door to leave a human outline in there, like Bugs <laughs> Bunny. Like Bugs Bunny, right? Like in the cartoons. Like in the cartoons, yeah. He stands by that. That's why we Anyway, whatever. You're a great guy. Uh, you were like. You were like, I would say like you were like the head of our room in college, like the, the meat head. <laughs> this guy, literally during the, during the rehearsal, we're trying to take pictures, Katie's running around, he's like, yo, I need cottage cheese bread. <laughs> he went to have cottage cheese there, he was like, take one day off, show some respect. <laughs> yeah, no, you look a lot better than me, I'm fat, but uh... <laughs> No, seriously. Uh, so anyway, no, but not honestly. I think we like still connect. Like, it's hard to keep in touch. Like after college, because you know everyone is doing their own thing. You're a passionate guy, 
and I'm a passionate guy, and I, you know, you support me, you come to my comedy shows, you're into my comedy, and I support you in whatever the hell you do. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea what you do. Uh, <laughs> No, anyway, enough about you, Katie. Uh, met you, seen you in college. You're like, besides being beautiful, you're so talented. You're a CPA, cheerleader, fitness expert, and most importantly, 2006, shared title with me, Air Band Champions. Yeah. That's right, thanks for that table. Have some bread. Uh, <laughs> And Andrew's like, he's always real proud of your accomplishments. He always says, you know, he always vocalizes it. He says, like, yeah, it's my girl. She does flips and shit. <laughs> That's true. All right, anyway. All right, all right. This guy knows me a little bit. Hey, quick, uh, quick story. I want to do a little quick story here. Sorry I'm talking forever, but whatever. Uh, I, because, I lived, because I lived with these two, I had such like a creepy, voyeuristic view into their whole relationship and how it panned out. So I figured I'd like walk you through it a little bit. Uh, we, uh, we, we, we were all accounting majors. We're all three CPAs. Three of the worst CPAs you've ever seen. Uh, and, uh, no, except for Katie, whatever. Uh, she's good. Uh, and uh, we, 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 Natalie like, always had a thing for Katie. Like, she would always show up to class. But, like, like I said before, it's hard for the Jews to break into the cheerleader squad. You know what I mean? Right. So, we would sit, I remember we'd sit in the back of the room in a, like, a protein induced coma. <laughs> And, every, and every, Katie would walk in like 45 minutes late to a one hour lecture. <laughs> There's no books, just like two huge pink pom poms. <laughs> She's all sweaty, like a sexy sweaty, don't worry about it. She's like all pink, like pink tank top, pink shorts, pink Nike shocks with, you know, with the pink shocks, right? Like, <laughs> pink skin, pink eyeballs. She was like Pittsburgh Barbie. <laughs> She'd walk in, and Andrew would always go to me, yo, D Black. He'd go like this. Tell him, D Black. I lean over and he'd be like, yo, D Black, I'm gonna get that cheerleader one day. He'd do you worse than those. So I said, why don't you ask her out? And he's like, no, I got like a more mature plan than that. I'm just gonna pass her notes like I'm eight years old. Very flash. And Katie will vouch for this. He, he, he wrote her a note, he wrote her a note, and passed it to a middle class that said, do you like anyone from class, like, a little more than friends? With two boxes, two check boxes, yes or no. Which I confirmed this weekend that Katie, you still have that in a scrapbook, right? A version of it. A version of it? Alright, whatever. You're just, supposed just to say yes, that ruined my thing. Just, uh, <laughs> Uh, and then I think, uh, then like the final straw, I'm wrapping up, don't worry, have your chicken. Uh, and the, fi the, final, the final thing was when Katie had her senior formal, right, her Sigma Kappa formal. And uh, she posted it in, on, on Instant Messenger at the time, which is a little bit dated. If you use that, get Gmail. Uh, and she posted what to do about formal, because she didn't have a date, right? Right. And Andrew saw it, and we had like a we had a roommate meeting about it. We go, what do we do? And Dan Beck, the bald guy over here, is handing out Romney pamphlets. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. He, don't listen to him. He uh, he said, he said, he said, just say take me. And we all talked about it, and we agreed. And Andrew did it, and Filson took him. And they went to the Sigma Capital Formal, and that was the first time you guys kissed. And I was there, and I was taking a picture with my little video camera. And uh, then the, the rest of that, the rest from there was history. Uh, so, like I said, I had a little bit of a creepy view into your uh, beautiful relationship. Uh, I, I love you both. You guys are like the best people. You're all heart and muscle. <laughs> You're a power couple in the sense that you can kick my ass. <laughs> Your first kid's gonna be like Bam Bam. <laughs> I love you guys. It's an honor to speak at your wedding and like let's have the best time. Bob's the time.